I would like to uh, uh, present a short presentation about the uh, infection of poultry in Indonesia nickel and smelting from perspective of association uh, coming from uh, Indonesian Metal Kilapros Association. Uh, besides all that, that uh, I uh, I am also actively work, working in uh, one of the nickel smelter in Indonesia. So this is uh, based on my experience, both on uh, APNI and also uh, as a, a nickel smelter practitioner. And uh, this is uh, uh, <clears throat> outlook for the nickel that uh, changing dramatically, include uh, especially for nickel here. Two, uh, three years ago, uh, the nickel is just it's just three uh, percent and uh, will be increased dramatically to seventy percent, thirty-seven percent in uh, uh, twenty uh, thirty. However, the nickel for stainless is uh, decreasing from seventy-one to uh, forty-six. So this is a uh, vice versa uh, between nickel for battery and nickel for uh, stainless. And we can see here. Uh, the growth of the nickel for battery is a very, very uh, growth uh, very fast, 17% uh, during uh, 10 years. Or CAGR is uh, almost 32% uh, per year for nickel in the, of the battery. Besides of that uh, for the nickel for stainless uh, also uh, having a growth even though just small compared to nickel for battery just of 5.3 percent uh, of growth of nickel for stainless especially for 300 and uh, 200 series of uh, stainless steel is the uh, one point as uh, miss uh, angela uh, described before, but this is uh, coming from uh, CNBC. CNBC that uh, this is the crevice between uh, supply and demand for any kind of the metal for battery, especially for the nickel. This is this is very very uh, yeah nickel player on the bat is very worried about this condition. However, uh, some some nickel some battery producer shifting. Uh, Secondary to produce of battery from nickel to iron base. However, uh, the nickel base of battery is still in dominate for the next uh, for the next future. So that's why, besides of the uh, nickel producing for the mining, also the possibility for nickel producing for the recycling. And this is the transformation of added value creation for uh, nickel ore. This nickel ore coming to processing by uh, RKF smelter to become concentrate or nickel big iron or NPI or ferro nickel. If NPI, uh, so the, the price of LME is uh, almost uh, below than 19% uh, yeah, of LME. But uh, once uh, to become uh, nickel sulfat, nickel sulfat from NPI, you can produce nickel sulfat, proba sulfat, and mangan sulfat. From the nickel sulfat, the LME price is uh, 1,016, 113% uh, of LME of nickel base. And uh, one step ahead uh, to become precursor, in the precursor nickel base is, uh, LME is uh, almost 270% of LME. Moreover, in the cathode material is very, very big giant of the uh, value creation of the nickel. Then for the investment, investment, uh, considering of investment, uh, we call, we have to consider about the project performance, uh, namely uh, IRR, interest rate of return, net present value, payback period, and financial ratio. So this uh, project performance will be uh, deeply uh, influenced by revenue, operating, operating expenditure, capital investor, financial charge, risk, and also others. For the revenue, as we can show here, for the revenue, this is the most of the project performance will be deeply influenced by the revenue and OPEX. And the revenue is uh, mostly 
uh, influenced by the fluctuation of the uh, nickel price in the world. And also for the OPEX, uh, mostly uh, coming from the uh, coal, batu bara, and also for the uh, nickel ore. And uh, same with the nickel price in the world, that uh, batu bara, coal, also the uh, BG nickel, nickel ore, also fluctuation. And this is uh, a reference of mineral acuan coming from ASDM every month. This is the many kind of the domestic product which are coming from NPI or ferronical. Uh, mostly it's coming just over here, NPI, ferronical, but uh, we can also uh, further process beside of the, uh, to become a stainless steel, also to become refining, to become allowing, allowing plant and converter, converter uh, as, uh, as uh, INCO or uh, it's a uh, valley, yeah, valley in Sorwako, converter to become nickel made and producing many kind of the sulfide. Can I also do uh, water spraying without without nickel matter converter and then directly form metal in NPI ferronickel to become many kind of the product like this. And for the next future, uh, the battery uh, it's, it's been a precursor or cathod material, not only coming from the nickel sulfate, cobalt sulfate, and manga sulfate, but also will be will be produced directly from nickel metal. This is more than effectively on in terms of the cost and energy. And uh, also as a, a Tesla uh, mentioned before that uh, one of the one part of the uh, battery that we produce based on the iron base. It's been coming from FA, uh, from the iron oxide. This will be byproduct of the uh, NPI or uh, veronical further processing. And this is uh, integrated projects. Integrated projects coming from, uh, this is uh, project performance number one. It's been upstream project. And this is uh, leaching and refining in terms of the stainless steel is allowing. And uh, this is manufacturing, uh, those steel project, sorry, those steel project. And this is manufacturing at farm. So in terms of the uh, project uh, phase number one, RKIF, we can uh, NPI or Veronical and HPAL, uh, high pressure acid leach. In terms of the metallurgical side, the h is not smelter, yeah, because in h uh, reaction, chemical reaction taking place not uh, without smelting, just uh, pressure and uh, chemical, not, not smelting here. So in terms of the metallurgy, h is not smelter, but h plant. To become this um, HP, MHP is the uh, same, uh, de same degree compared to NPI, and this is also another potential to produce uh, many kind of the nickel and another uh, another uh, metal coming from spent catalyzed nickel waste use uh, lithium battery battery bekas or nickel alloy scrap and this is uh, we can we can call also this uh, urban miner so we can we can collect the many kind of the waste here to recycling to become many kind of product and this is uh, project program number one number Two is uh, leaching and uh, refining, and this is uh, downstream project, and uh, this manufacturing project. Here's already there in Morwali, uh, Tingshan Group, uh, up to here, up to Bar, Bilet, uh, Hot Coil, and Cold Rock Coil in Morwali, uh, coming from RKIF, NPI, uh, allowing stainless steel and manufacturing to become here. And uh, also, uh, be so it's mining, but mining is uh, include, excluded from this project performance. Here, if uh, we can uh, produce, uh, say, this integrated uh, project, but here also is a standalone, standalone project. It's been, we can produce, we can produce many kind of product from NPI here, here to become many kind of product like that. This is uh, NPI Veronical to NPI uh, leaching and rewinding 
to become many kind of drawback here, nickel sulfate battery grade, nickel sulfate electroplating grade, uh, iron oxide, uh, nickel refine, cobalt refine, and many, many kind of the product here. It's been a standalone project from here, just from here to here. And then why so many uh, battery companies uh, going back or uh, go to uh, upstream project because here based on my calculation once uh, we can produce uh, this is the cathode material and mc811 is chemical composition the cost production is like like this and uh, the nickel sulfate and cobalt sulfate here is uh, 63 percent of cost portion for for NMAC production so that's why many kind many many but the producer namely they are here but goes to uh, upstream because to securing the raw material because uh, one the company can be securing the material so they will be mostly as the winner for the cost production and this is for the nickel waste uh, recycling from nickel waste is the urban miner also is project uh, number two many kind of the pro uh, product can be produced from uh, recycling plant and also because uh, this is uh, taking place is uh, more easy for for uh, for uh, recycling because uh, nickel here is mostly more than uh, more than 15 percent in the waste compared to compared to in the ore. So if uh, we can calculate, uh, is this prognosis, yeah? Uh, project number one say like this, like this in the red one, in the yellow one, project number two is a uh, standalone project and uh, project number three is uh, the blue color and project number four is a, uh, uh, sorry, uh, green color. So this is standalone project. If we, if we in uh, making uh, this project uh, integrated, so we can. Uh, this is the compound average of the project performance of the project. Of course, in terms of the revenue, this is very very biggest uh, revenue. But however, in the in terms of the IRR or net present value, we can uh, we can, we have to calculate about about uh, uh, compound of the project. Okay, this is the conclusion of our presentation that investment of nickel starting from upstream based on either pyro and hydro methodology can be carried out on the integrated manner with separate downstream industrial stages or develop as each standalone project. It's, uh, uh, it's depend by strategic of the uh, project owner. Second, the investment decision are eventually determined by the project performance in which several principal amounts are involved for costing but not limited to revenue operating costs investment costs investment uh, and uh, tax facilities and uh, also a uh, level of risk as well that's it Fabian. thank you